guys welcome back to another video or if this is your first time and you're brand new here this is the first time you're ever seeing my face hello hi welcome I'm super glad that you are here and clicked on today's video my name is Jennifer and I share all things health and wellness here on the channel anything that I do to level up my own life I share with you guys in hopes that it will inspire and motivate you to do the same so if you are interested or that sounds like your cup of tea make sure to smash that subscribe button before we jump into today's video okay so let's go ahead and dive right in I am going to be sharing just a super quick update about some changes that I am implementing into my eating plan and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. I share all of my health journey with you guys but that way when you see future full days of eating or what's for dinner videos or any of that you guys will know what the deal is and also so you can follow along on my progress and results and all of that and or if you're feeling stuck on your own health journey and just really wanting to like rein it in and tighten it in a bit maybe you can jump in and join me on this journey as well. Okay so first a little backstory in case you are brand new here. I have been living in the ketogenic lifestyle for about the last year and a half. I started January of 2019 and I lost about almost 30 pounds or so it right kind of in the first six months or so pretty quick and then I have maintained since then but I have not been able to lean down further like I wanted to I don't track um, calories I just track my net carbs and I'm not in a calorie surplus I keep like an idea in my head you know throughout the day I did track in the beginning but I do track net carbs and I always stay under 20 net carbs I am in in the last year and a half I definitely have my occasional cheat meal or off plan eating for special occasions or holidays or any of that stuff but 99% of the time I have been in ketosis I have followed a keto eating plan I have been consistent in that but I definitely probably the last six months or so I just haven't felt my absolute best I haven't felt at my peak and that's always my goal is to feel the absolute best that I can and so I'm just wanting to like tighten in my nutrition dial it in a little bit and really get refocused on why I started my health journey in the first place and that initially was for weight loss but has evolved over time just to absolute health and energy and focus and sleep and less inflammation, balance in my hormones, just a range of issues. If you are new to health and nutrition and just starting out on your health journey, just focusing on keeping it simple and weight loss and all of that is absolutely fine. But definitely over time, you gain more knowledge, you educate yourself more on nutrition and how foods affect your body and how you feel and inflammation. And then you add in exercise and workouts and all of that. And you just evolve and learn and grow as you go. So, or I definitely have anyways, I am light years away from where I first started when I first started my health journey a couple years ago. And I hope in another five years, I'll be light years away from from where I am today that's always the goal so I just have not been feeling my best like I was saying um, overall I've really wanted to lean down more like I'm not at my ideal goal weight and not even by just the number on the scale which actually like since quarantine and everything I've actually gained some weight plus I'm just now on the other side of an arm injury which really affected my eating my mental health my exercise regimen all of that so it definitely played a part in that and now I'm coming out on the other side of that and I'm just wanting to really dial in focus my nutrition focus on absolute energy foods that bless my body and make me feel good make me perform good just in my daily life but also in the gym I also run a lot and I can tell if you are going through a certain stage and I don't just mean like a week or two stall or anything like that or weighing yourself every single day and like if it's not moving down thinking that you need to throw in the towel and change a bunch of stuff up consistency is definitely key calories in calories out definitely matters but even in saying all of that and knowing all of that I definitely my body is just screaming for a change I need to really Really dial it in get rid of all the sweeteners and treats and processed healthy foods so just in saying all of that I am just feeling ready in my mind my body everything for a change I am leaning towards paleo or paleo ish uh, rather so I'll kind of go more in depth about what I'm going to be eliminating from my diet and how I'm going to be walking it out for at least the next 30 days and then seeing how I feel reevaluate and go from there so for the next 30 days I am going to be eliminating processed foods vegetable oils um, sugary sweet treats anything processed keto um, dairy 
and I am going to, there are a couple exceptions to that. I am going to allow myself feta cheese. Um, that's the only dairy product that I will be doing. And then I also still will have energy drinks. If you followed me for any amount of time, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with bangs and I don't want to just get rid of them completely. I am definitely going to cut back on them. And I just ordered like a really clean pre-workout. So I might just stick to that, seeing how it makes me feel or, and just have like one bang a week or something. I'm not really sure, but I am not going to cut those out 100%. That's why I said this isn't like a hundred percent paleo or anything really it's just kind of a cut that I am doing for myself so I am going to be cutting out the sugary sweet treats the processed keto foods dairy and then I'm also going to be switching to low carb rather than keto I'm not going to worry about being in ketosis I am going to have some higher carb days that I'm going to incorporate it will still be paleo um, I'm not going to have grains or anything like that, but I will do some higher carb vegetables, maybe some fruits, maybe some sweet potatoes, because I just want to optimize my health and see how I perform in the gym, how I run, because since I've been strength training and running for the last year, I have been on keto that whole time. So I don't even know how my body performs doing some of those things, not on keto, if that makes sense. So I am just wanting to experiment and try out some higher carb days, see how my body feels, track my progress along the way. Um, I already filmed my first day of eating. I've been doing this now for a few days and I filmed it for you guys and my workouts and all of that did my weigh in and all of that. I'm going to track my progress for you guys over the course of the next 30 days. So hopefully you guys are subscribed. That way you can follow along with me or if you want to join in with me, I would absolutely love that. And just focus on clean one ingredient whole foods like and eat super clean. That's my goal. I'm just really wanting to get rid of all the keto ice creams and treats and cheeses and just all of the stuff that I feel like is not serving me best or causing inflammation or any any of that stuff. I just want to completely clean it up my diet and really focus in on my workouts and my running and all of that and really try to reach my original goals and my original goal weight and all of that. And weight definitely is not my only goal for sure. It was in the beginning, but now once you kind of get along your health journey and you realize how you feel, how you change mentally and just how you experience life and your relationships, how you show up for your spouse, your kids, work, uh, everything. It just health, changing my health game like absolutely changed my life more than I can even begin to express to you guys. And so as I go along on this health journey, I keep learning and growing and evolving and I want to keep trying new stuff because uh, diets work different for everybody and they might affect me different than they do you and vice versa. So I am always in the camp of try it. Try it and see if it works for you. See how it makes your body feel. See how you perform. So that's what I am wanting to do. So I'm not going to be focused on ketosis. I am going to do moderate fat and still low carb and with just some carb up days, but also eating clean and cutting out all the garbage. So if you guys want to join me on this challenge, I would love for you to do that. And if not, and you just want to follow along and see my progress and results over the course of the next 30 days, then I definitely would love for you to follow along. And just so you know, everybody that's been following me for keto, this is not like a knock on keto at all. I absolutely love keto. I've seen great results with it. It gives me great energy, all of that. I think I just got too bogged down in a lot of the desserts and treats and not focusing more on health and just focusing on the net carbs and if I could fit it in do it and I want to try to get away from that for a little bit and I might find out that being in strict ketosis is the best for me I don't know we're gonna see and you don't know until you find out so that's just why I kind of want to experiment this and next 30 days and see how I feel and, and refocus my health journey on just complete health and wholeness so if you guys are not following me over over on Instagram make sure to follow me over there I'll pop it on the screen here and I always have it linked down below and that way you can kind of follow me day-to-day -day activities in real time kind of behind the scenes and more workouts and meals and all of that stuff if you're not on Instagram that's all right pop a comment down below and I definitely will chat with you guys down there or if you guys have 
experience with paleo, low carb, not necessarily keto, and just clean whole eating. Let me know your experiences and I would love to learn from you just as well and we can all help each other out and we can do this together. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit all the bells and whistles. That way every time I upload a new video, you guys will be notified because like I said, I'm going to track my progress all the way, workouts, meals, all of that stuff. My weigh-ins, I'm going to do measurements and all of that. And I'm also going to be filming my entire workout schedule, my running schedule, my strength training regimen, all of that stuff. So that will be coming in a future video as well. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited to see my results, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out. And I appreciate you guys so much for following along and watching all my videos. And I will catch y'all in the next video. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad